Gentlemen, uh, I am Anson Nsie. Uh, as you all are aware, uh, there is a very sad, sad breaking news uh, coming from the homeland Liberia. And we here are focused on Liberia are uh, saddened, so saddened by the death news of Honorable J. Namwes Law. Uh, J. Namwes Law has become a friend with us here at Focus on Liberia. He had been a very good friend uh, to our leader here at Focus on Liberia to Mr. Dennis Jai. And it is true, uh, Dennis Jai, I got to know him uh, in doing this work in helping to help uh, inform, educate, and elevate all things about Liberia. Uh, today, we were so saddened to have heard that Mr. J. Number Slaw uh, was pronounced dead at the JFK uh, Medical Hospital today. Uh, the front page article we have had the opportunity to read did not state uh, the reason for his death, uh, but it was confirmed that indeed the honorable man did pass away. Like many of you, we, the focus on Liberia family, are saddened by the death of Honorable J. Number Slaw. And as you can see, we are having this broadcast uh, to remember J. Number Slaw for his contribution, uh, not only to the people of Sano and the district in Sano that he represented, but also, you know, his contribution to our country, Liberia. Prior to J. Number Slaw becoming a representative, in Sano County, a position he held serving his people, he was a journalist in Liberia. And even prior to his practicing of journalism, he was one of those young men behind the progressive who advocated for what we know in Liberia today uh, called multi-party democracy. As a young man then, as I listened to him, he shared his story on many radio stations you know, uh, he wanted to see a better Liberia. And so despite his young age then at the time, he he joined ranks with the likes of uh, Tipote, uh, H. Berman Formula, he followed back on Matthew, he had believed in the ideology, seeking for a better Liberia at the time, and he followed them. And those ideologies, those values, the desire for a better Liberia that Tipo Ted and others like One Man Formula introduced to young J. Namwes Law at the time helped to form his worldview and his national perspective of a kind of Liberia that he was working to see. And he served as a journalist in Liberia. He played his role. He contributed his quota to our country, Liberia, in helping to inform our people. And he went on to serve his country at the House of Representatives. He has so more energy. He was being referred to as the tough talking representative or lawmaker. J. Namwes Law never shy away from saying it the way he saw it. That's the kind of man he was. We knew he was a member of the CDC, and yet he will not hide from telling his party that they were wrong on their issue and that issue. J. Namwes Law indeed was a patriot. He was a man who did everything to see the right thing be done in Liberia. And so 
upon hearing about the death news of Jedna Mislaw, not only are we saddened, we are also surprised. We are shocked beyond measures that a nationalist like Jedna Mislaw, who had had this potential of continuous contribution to the forward march of our country will be referred to today as the late Vietnam Law. Many of you who have had the opportunity to listen to him, and every time Namwe had the opportunity to speak, you saw vigor, you saw energy, you saw passion, you saw the desire and the thirst in him for that Liberia that we are all hoping for. Today, Namwe Slaw is no more. He was more like a partner here at Focus on Liberia. He appeared on our platform here so many times. He was always willing to come on to answer the tough questions of governance. He disagreed with his party on many issues. Today, he's no more. Like you, we the Focus on Liberia family, we are saddened by this unexpected passing of Jade Namus Law. We hope that God will grant his family the strength to deal with this loss. I can only imagine how they did not expect Mr. Numbers Law's life to come to an end in this manner, in this short time. We all saw him energetic, vibrant, articulate. Maybe we can say now he has played his part. Maybe we can say now he has made his contribution. But it is worth that we remember him today. Namwe will forever be remembered for his patriotism, for his tenacity, and for his bravery and courage to speak to national issues and he did not care whoever that true was pointing at. Namba will speak boldly because Namba knew. I know Namba was a Christian and he was guided by the scripture that said only the truth shall set us free and so Namba did everything humanly possible. To speak the truth that he got to know and he did it in a style that established him as a truth teller, as a courageous patriot. Namwe has played his part. And we here at Focus on Liberia, we want to say, rest on Namwe. Rest on. Though your death brings pains to our hearts, we know your death is a blow to your family. But we say rest on because you have made a contribution. Many of you who are listening to the interview earlier, he helped to craft the Adulai or uh, Kamara Act that was passed into law which is a law today, decriminalizing issues that have been criminalized for so many years. He used the word draconian laws. Those laws were in a book and they could go after any journalist in any manner, anybody rather, who said anything against any uh, official or government. That was one of his contributions. He represented the people of Sino County. He visited his district. 
He served as a journalist. He was a family man. He left behind his children. He was married. He has left with Liberia children that can continue his legacy. Rest on, man. We did not want to see you leaving us this soon. Because now we knew, we knew you had so much to contribute. And that is why your death news today sent a shock weight in our nerves and in our spine. Because little did we know, Namwe, now your journey will earn in this manner. At the time we least expected, that it will happen this way. It happened at a time when we most expected that you were just starting your journey and contributing to the forward march of our country as a lawmaker. Rest on, J. Namus Law. We, the Focus on Liberia family, are incredibly saddened. We will ask the good O Lord to grant your family the strength to deal with this law. This is heavy. This is heavier. And I think this might even be the heaviest of the family. Though I do not know the family except for Namwe's law, I know giving his role in the family, giving his standing in the family. It is easier to understand that this is the heaviest blow of all to this family. He was that pillow of his family. I remember when Namwe visited the US, or I chatted with him, we had a show here yeah, focus on Liberia. And sometime by we had another show with him. I helped to interview him on that show. And you could only tell that this man wanted to give his all to his country and his county, the people of Sino. Now we deaf news today was unexpected. Many of us will agree. And so whether you have some disagreement with Namwe, that's the essence of democracy. For he did it the way he knew best and to the best of his ability in representing his people, in contributing to the national conversation for the development of our country. Today, he's no more. I can only hope that all of us will remember Namwe for his contribution. I hope his contribution will inspire all of us, especially when it comes to truth-telling. Namwe speaking was never on the basis of his political alignment. His voice on the issues was always about the country. Disagree with his party so many times. He even bashed his party for doing the wrong thing. And he was on record every time. How many of us are prepared to pick up the good example that Namwe has left with us? Can we? Folks in cyberspace, you are watching Focus on Liberia. The breaking news that hit all of us today is the death of Jay Namwe Slow. And so we are having this broadcast to remember him. Like I said earlier, Namwe was a man who was willing to talk to us here at Focus on Liberia was always willing to share his views on national issues. And whenever we had a question about whatever was happening in the national legislature, we'll place a phone call to him and he will answer all and tell all what was unfolding. 
Today he is no more. And as a major network in the Liberian community, we can't afford to let this pass by without remembering the great nationalist, the great Liberian, this courageous Liberian of a lawmaker that we lost today. And we are saying to you, Namwe was one of our good examples. Her life is worth emulating because he was courageous on the issues. And that is something maybe we can learn from Namwe. Namwe has left this truth telling, irrespective of who all involved. Namwe's position on the issue was irrespective of party. It was always respective of the truth and how it impacted or impacts the country. J. Namwe's law is no more. And the question I continue to ask is what can we learn from this man? What lesson has he taught us that we can use? Out of us. Well, we want you all to join us to say our sincere condolences to his family, his loved ones that he has left behind, to his wife. She is now picking all the baton to raise their children and provide guardians and parent them. It's going to be tough. John us as we prayed for his family. This one is the toughest. Nambue was the pillow. It was that rooster. It was that major breadwinner in the family. And he has gone. Well, folks, the broadcast was on the internet to remember Jed Namwislaw, who has passed today in uh, Monrovia. And we wanted to express how sad we are as a network and to also express that he was that good example. He fought a good fight. He played his role when that call came, Namwe was there. But today he's no more, and we just wanted to say, Namwe, rest on, Namwe. Rest on, Namwe, because when that time came for you to wake up and pick up a baton for national leadership, Namwe, you woke up. When the people of Sino County needed you, Namwe, you woke up and you traveled miles. You went from Hamlet to Hamlet from town to town, identifying with your people and sharing with them what you will be able to contribute. Whether you achieve it or not, Namwe, you were there. Namwe, we saw you playing the role of a journalist, providing information to Liberians in order for them to be in the know about what was happening around them. especially on governance. We believe you have made a contribution, a contribution for which we will forever remember you. And so now we will say to you, rest on. I know there's more you wanted to do that you could not do. But such is the journey. And now we know that you have played your part. Thank you for watching. This is how we will conclude this broadcast here at Focus on Liberia. Bye-bye.
Bila Bima